All right, so the reason that uh, this info element is no is because uh, we, to find uh, this info element, which is this one that contains you liked this post, we need the post ID. Because if I inspect the element of this one, you will see that uh, on its ID, there's a post ID there. So if when returning the data from our Ajax, we don't know the ID of the post, we cannot locate this one. So let's go back to console here and let's look at this. If you look in this data that's returned, there's just info underscore and there's no number there. So which means we are unable to find the ID. So let's come back to like.ajax.php and let's just put die there so that we see what is contained just here before we go any further. So let's print readable and let's echo out the get variables here. I don't know why it does this double, just one is enough. Okay, so let's do that. So let me come back here and click here again so that I, I can see some new results. Okay, so here you will see that uh, the type and ID are empty actually. Okay, so syntax error, unexpected character, and this error is because we are echoing that. So these guys are empty. This is why we are having problems. So let me check what's inside URL though. Let's do that. And let me come back here and let's click again. Okay, so inside here, there is actually just uh, index. That's it. There's only zero, location zero, which is, uh, which is weird. Okay. So the reason this is weird is because we are trying to get from the URL when if we see the current URL, it's just index there, right? But the link to the post that we are liking comes in through, uh, through the query string here, okay? So what I will do here is I'm going to see what is involved in the query string. So data link comes with our link here. So what I can do now, uh, let me echo out data link there. Let me do that. Let's come back here again. One more time, I will click. Let's see what we have in the error situation. So there we go, this is our link here. So it's got my book, like, and all that. So this is our link here, uh, which is uh, good. And now what I can do is I still have that function that is called split URL, right? So let me try and say split underscore URL. Is it? Wait a minute, let's go to functions. And this is the one right here. So I will do this, come to like.php there. Uh -huh. Let's try that. Even though I don't know if we actually needed the second one, but what the hell. So URL at this point. Oh, I see what's happening here. We are splitting the current URL, but we are not providing a string that we want to actually split. So let me come back to this same uh, function here. Oh, so the function uses a get variable there. Hmm. Get URL. Okay. So what I will do to sort this problem out just uh, temporarily, we'll see how we can incorporate this function into the functions themselves. Actually, we can do that just now. So what I would do, let me, um, let me create one more function here just to do exactly what we're doing here, but without getting from the get itself where we provide, we want to provide a URL. 
So what I want to say is that split URL from underscore string, something like this, so that we can give our string here. So it's going to be almost the same as this. The only difference is that we won't get from the get URL there, right? I will just copy every instance of this and paste like so. Okay, so that part was the query string only that we were getting. Now, once we split this, we get a result. So let me get that. And then let me come back to like.php and then I will use this function here. Now I want, instead of the string here, I will use data link, the link that comes in here. And then what I want to do now is to see what URL contains after this saga here. Okay. So I will refresh the page just to clean the console up and then I'll click like again. Now, as you can see, it has split everything. There's HTTP, there's localhost, there's my book, there's like, there's post, and then there's... A... So we just want the last two here. So we can see that there, one is on number five and one is on number six, right? So we could just ignore all these that are here. Okay, but uh, I mean, we could remove reduce the string so that it doesn't contain all this but i think it's not really necessary because we know exactly which numbers these things will always be at so there's five and six so let me come back here and after this split let's do the split at the very top here so we split the url from string and then we get the Okay, at this type, at this point, we can get number five and number six. So here, let me duplicate that or oh. edit both at the same time like this. And then let's print the get here and let's see what we're going to have without the ID there. Let's just do this. Come back here. One more time. And let's refresh the page. Oops, my battery is low. Let's click there. And now we have post and ID, which is very good. Now let's remove these guys and see what we're going to have, whether things will work out. Refresh and then click there. And you see everything is working out fine now. Okay, so all we have to do is go back to post.php and remove the console.log, save, and then we are good to go okay so click click everything is working fine all right so i'll see you in the next video